I have been fired before multiple times, like multiple times. And I'm gonna let you know, when they fire your ass, whether it is from the halls of FedEx, whether it's from the fires of Burger King, they will sit you down. HR will sit you down and have a very thorough conversation for nigga why we don't need you to come back in here tomorrow at 3 p.m. Like, they will let you know. So, I don't know what he's talking about when he's saying, I'm not sure what allegations that I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm, I got kicked off the shot for a whoop a whoop. I think that was BS. I think when you watch the interview, there's a lot of bullshit. And there's a lot of truth. I don't think there's no flight you no flight you can catch from LAX airport to add to Las Vegas for seven eight hundred dollars. But bullshit. Um, I do think there might be some truth in what he's saying when he says that the the allegations against him were not sexual. They were just simply might have stemmed from him being too demonstrative, too abrasive. Uh, if you've seen that video, that airplane video where he's cursing out the air the flight staff. For not uh, for him not being able to use his seat, which I can kind of understand, but at the same time, nigga, you don't have to talk for these niggas like you, like they Jamie Foxx and you Samuel Jackson and Django. You can see that he kind of has a very short man complex kind of way of talking to people. And I, I my daddy is short, nigga, so I, I've seen that that kind of attitude before. Now, with that being said, I don't know which one to believe, either him or the showrunner Tiffany Boone. Um. It's a lot to it's a lot it's a lot to say in that interview. I think at the end of the day, because all we're just going off, all we're simply going off of is who is more believable. I think his scenario is a little bit more believable because when the allegations first came out, there was never no clarification on what actually happened. Tiffany Boone just says she didn't feel safe on set, and when I first read that, I thought that that meant oh this nigga was trying to touch up on her, this nigga was trying to be a creep with her. When the showrunner got fired and said how she felt unsafe, I was thinking the same thing. Maybe he was trying to fill up on her too, and I think that's the bias against men, particularly black men. When we see a harassment case or when a woman feels uncomfortable in a work environment, we automatically think this nigga is being a predator. This nigga is trying to fill up on her. We not realizing that no man, maybe they just might have had a disagreement because. That unsafe work environment harassment thing that you create, that that's a, that, what they teach you in middle school, at least what they taught me in springtime middle school, is sexual harassment is an umbrella term for a lot of shit. Like, it's an umbrella term for a lot of shit. It's not just you trying to touch up on a girl, you trying to get a feel. Like, it's not just that. Um, And sometimes, you know, I think the biggest, I think the bigger conversation you can take from that is how... Being a black man, there is a certain bias against you if you are in a situation where, you know, you show your temper or you show your demonstration. Now, with that also being said, I don't know exactly what the F this nigga did to make these people feel uncomfortable and make four or five jobs fire them in a row. I'm going to tell you the same thing my stepdad used to always tell me. Can't, everybody ain't lying on you, nigga. Everybody is not lying on you. Because when I used to go to school, I used to get all Fs and Ds and Cs. And he's like, nigga, you fucking up. Because ain't, ain't. You got six periods in school. Ain't can't all six of these teachers be lying on you? That's impossible. They don't. They are not all gathering together at Starbucks for at four p.m. and being like, "Hey, we are gonna figure out how to make Joseph get held the fuck back." Like this, this is not happening. So it's I don't know, man. It's a shitty, 